Good morning, everyone. So we finished our original Cinderella, which was pretty similar this time to our Disney versions versus some of the ones that we have read before, such as Beauty and the Beast or The Jungle Book, that were very different than the Disney versions that we know and probably love, because I will definitely say I do. Um, so what we are going to talk about now that we're done is this idea of central idea. Right, So we have discussed this in class kind of on and off throughout the year, and I know that we also discussed it last year. So what we talk about when we talk about central idea is what is the lesson or the message that the author is trying to teach us? Now, when we talk about central idea, we differentiate it from main idea. Main idea is a one-sentence summary that involves character names and is specific to the story. So if I was going to give the main idea of Cinderella, I would talk about how Cinderella was abused or neglected by or ignored by her stepsisters and then went on to win the affection and love of the prince with help of her godmother, right? So it's kind of just a summary of sorts kind of condensed, short, what happened. Central idea needs to be bigger than the story. Central idea needs to relate to us, the reader, right? So rather than using words like Cinderella learned or the stepsisters learned, we would say people should, women should, children should, families should or should not for that matter. I know we always kind of look at central idea as a positive, but there are ones where it's telling us how we should not behave. So central idea is, again, the message or lesson that the author wants us to learn from the story and take into our lives, right? Now, this is something that we talked about and then we write that paragraph, right? Where we talk about the central idea and then we prove it using the story. We're not going to do that today. That is going to be our job next week. Okay, that's going to be our next week project. You're going to have about three, four days to do it. So don't stress out. But let's just kind of brainstorm for a little bit some possible central ideas for Cinderella. So the first thing that I want you to do when we're looking at how to figure out a central idea is look at any of the characters and look at how they might have changed. So when we talked about Beauty and the Beast, we talked about if we looked at Beauty from the beginning of the story, she believed that you had to kind of be this beautiful, perfect looking person for somebody to love them, right? And that was kind of her issue with the Beast. She was like, oh my God, he's so nice. He takes such good care of me, but he's ugly. She kept going back to, but he's ugly. By the end of the story, she realizes that she kind of loves him anyway. And then once she realizes that, he turns into the handsome prince, right? So we take her change and we go, okay, what is that telling me about how I should change? So I would take that and instead of saying beauty learned, I would say people should judge people from the inside, not the out. So I take the message that beauty learned, which is that your real beauty is on the inside, not your physical appearance. And I take that to what people should realize, right? So the other thing that we can look at is how somebody messed up and what they could have done differently, right? So Beauty, once again, she promised the Beast that she would visit her family and she would come back, right? When she didn't come back, he was ill and he was close to death. So what was her mistake? She didn't keep her promise. So what did we learn is to not make that same mistake. So we can say that central idea there is that we should keep our promises, right? So if we look at what somebody learned positively, what somebody learned negatively, so what mistake did they make? Or we can look at what did somebody do right, correct? So then we would go all the way back, let's say, to the Jungle Book, where we had Mowgli and he was living with the wolves, right? And with Bagheera and with Baloo. And in that story, we dealt a lot with how the family protected him, right? So we talked a lot about how despite that he was, you know, adopted, that he was a human who was living with the wolves, they all took care of him. And we were like, I remember in class, we kind of all sat around together and we were like, okay, what did they do that was so good? And we were like, family 
is not just blood. They took care of somebody who was not, you know, blood related to them, was somebody who they brought into their life that I can create family, right? Or that family should protect each other. We take something that they did right and we're like, okay, that's something that I should do right as well. Okay. So again, we're going to look at central ideas for the story. And you are going to give me a definition for central idea, which just is to let me know that you watched this video. And then you're going to give me a central idea that you think works for this story. Okay. And then next week, I'm going to share your central ideas that you gave me with each other so that you can pick which one you want to write about. And then we'll talk about how to write your paragraph. Okay. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is healthy and not going super stir crazy or making anybody in your house nuts. Bye.